Finally, I did it. I extract different beats in music and I use that to control our pyro. So, this will be interesting. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's begin. You see, thank God this one, it's not about Caponicus. Caponicus is everywhere these days. I almost throw up. <laughs> okay, luckily, in this one, we're gonna take this music. <laughs> Love it. And we're gonna import that using chops. If you're not familiar with chops, we're gonna do some basics and we're gonna extract different beats of it. This will be interesting. And we're gonna use that to control our pyro. First, we're gonna extract the bass of the music and then we're gonna carry on on my Patreon. And big shout out for these amazing people on my Patreon. Thank you guys. Have fun with our content. So let's begin. As you can see, we are in the sub level. Let's create a chop network. This is the amazing network. And as you can see, we have this motion FX view. Let me split that uh, top and bottom. I need to see the scene view and motion FX. And let's create file. We're gonna import our music. So we have MP3 music. And as you can see, we have that. So uh, this uh, MP3, or this song it's have two channels stereo channel okay we're gonna delete one one of them to uh, work uh, efficiently with that so let me create delete node and we have our channel here and we're gonna delete the uh, first one as you can see so we have one channel and let me create a null for playback let's rename that uh, playback Amazing and we're gonna hear the song using this window and we're gonna drag that and let's hear it. So this is our song as you can see we have this data this curve data This is so dense and not uh, simple enough like this wave to work with So we're gonna resample that or we're gonna convert that to curve that usable So we're gonna use envelope. This is a, like a amazing note will create will create for us a curve the usable curve and we, and we can of course resample that let me change the color as you can see you see this is the overall curve of the envelope and in here of course you can uh, resample this curve amazing and we're going to create a rename node and this channel by default have a name so i need to give it a specific name for example beat for now so we have this channel now how we can use this channel you see we have this curve and uh, for using that for example uh, if you're not familiar with chops I, I, I will tell you that and for example let's uh, create a transform here transform node okay and in here I want to control the scale using this curve it's easy you need just drag this name channel and relative to chop reference, voila. <laughs> and as you can see, we control uh, our scale using this curve, as you can see. Okay, another way to import our data in sub level, it's so easy using the channel node. Let me create one. Let me delete this transform node and let's create a channel node in here. This is amazing node to bring our data from a chop network. Let me uh, create an all first in chop network. For example, two subs. Cool. And let me import this or reference this null. Okay. As you can see, we have an error. The channel TX not found because we don't have any channel named TX. So let's uh, rename that to Beats because we have the Beats channel. And amazing, this is uh, cool. So we're gonna transfer this Beats to the uh, 
P attribute using this uh, uh, sign in here. But uh, for efficient way, we're, we're gonna create an attribute, float attribute. For example, let's name it beats. Okay, beats, yeah. And we're gonna uh, assign that in attribute scope. You see, let me uh, show you the spreadsheet in here. So this is the beats and all this curve, it's assigned to this uh, attribute. For example, the timeline in zero frame will assign to the zero point and so on as you can see for example you see in 10 frame we have the value of this curve to point number 10 this is so important guys just pay attention to this uh, tip and as you can see we have this uh, beats attribute but it's not moving you see that okay this is how you can uh, import your curve to your attribute so in order to make it uh, moving or some kind of animation to it, we're going to use the shift node. This is simple method, honestly. You see, we're going to shift the curve back and forth, but I, I will use the dollar T and you see it will shift uh, backward. So we're going to invert that using this sign with minus. You see that? And this is... Uh, inverted version as you can see so as you can see the curve it's sliding or shifting towards the left and this is amazing you see so far so good if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content so i'm not finished as i said before i want the base of the music what is the base of the music the base it's the low pitch of the sound for example this is my voice this is my voice so this will be the base of my sound. So how we can get that using chop network. So I tried so much. For example, the first note is so handy in this stuff. It's trigger note. It's have a trigger threshold and it will give you a trigger. As you can see this uh, curve, this is the trigger based on the threshold. But as you can see, it's don't have anything like the bass or treble the high pitch or the vocal only you see we don't have anything like that so this is so hard to do the trigger note it will not help us in here another note it's available for this one it's called spectrum spectrum will give you a visualization of your curve or of your music and it's so tiny i need to uh, zoom in in here okay let me zoom in and as you can see with end value adjusted we have some visualization and let me uh, let me get the shift before that in order to work and as you can see we have this visualization you see and on the left side i guess this is the bass sound or bass curve and the first uh, on the middle it's the vocal and on the left is treble so it's so hard to work with honestly and we can of course uh, trim that in specific area but it will not work believe me so this is a problem i guess but having said that after many research and many mistakes i find out one way to do that let me show you you see in audio menu we have amazing note called pass filter let me show you okay as you can see we have different filter in here low pass high pass and we have this high high cutoff and you see it will give you the low pass in here and this is the high pass let me show you in here of course we can play with this parameter i don't know if you hear that or not okay this is the high pass but we need the low pass let me go to the low pass and let's try different uh, parameter in here and after many iteration honestly i got it see this is the base we have a trigger for the base okay we're gonna use that this is amazing so this is the envelope and you, you, you see this is without the pass filter and this is 
with the pass filter. You see, we have a bunch of base trigger, you can say. So I want a one value for all the point. Of course, you can drag that to your uh, sub level, but I need to do that in uh, such a way. So uh, as you can see, these beats have a different value based on this curve. So I want a one value for all the point. I will use trim and I will trim all uh, this curve, you see, and I will trim that, trim that, uh, sorry, and until this just for one frame or one point you see and we have this tiny tiny curve and if i uh, show you in here you see we have same value for all the point and if i play that you see the base this curve will determine the base and the value will determine the base. Amazing. So let's go to the pyro. Let me quickly set up our pyro source and pyro rasterize, blah, blah, blah. And you see it is simple. And let's rasterize the density and temperature. And after that, let's adjust the resolution. And after that, we're gonna create our pyro solver. This is simple stuff, guys. And as you can see, I'm adjusting the temperature. I don't want this high temperature. So for using this one, I will use this default value for uh, the density and the temperature. As you can see, I drag that. You see, we have something like that. This is good, but I want between one and zero. You see, I want binary values rather than these float values. See, so we're gonna uh, filter that using this expression you see I will tell that if the value greater than one give me one if not zero we don't have any density you see okay I guess this is good but one yeah one it's enough or not not enough so I want to decrease that to one two yeah two it will be good and you see we have this trigger if the value or the base beyond the two will get will give us a one value a few moments later so after playing with the shape pyro etc finally we have our result you see amazing it's controlled by the base of course this project file is available on my patreon and we are successfully extract our bass beats from the music this is awesome but how about the voice or treble the high pitch remember so we're gonna carry on on my patreon so if you're interesting i will see you there goodbye